Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Jake is back from season. Yep. He's back home for off season, so he is back in the vids. So am. This weekend we are in Clemson. We just got here a couple hours ago. It's homecoming weekend. We play, who do we play? Wake Forest. We play Wakey Forest. We're about to get dinner down, I was about to say downstairs. We're about to get dinner downtown somewhere. We're thinking Charleston Sports Pub or SO. Which Charleston Sports Pub used to be winging it when we were here. Which it also was something spot. else too for a minute. Yeah, I mean, it was great. We used to have all of our like rally cat dance team semis at winging it and then it moved to 356, which we loved 356. That was our favorite bar to go with all of our friends at. <laughs> but yeah, we're here for the weekend. We're really just here for tonight and then the game tomorrow is at 3.30. Yeah, we kind of have a heck of a weekend. Yeah, it's going to be a crazy weekend. I have a game on Sunday, so we're going to drive back to Atlanta tomorrow after the game because the game's at 1 on Sunday, so we have to be there at like 7 a.m. Yeah, Jake got back from the season on Wednesday, last Wednesday. Wednesday. It's Friday now, so he's been home for like a little over a week. It's wild that I've been home for 10 days. To me, it's gone by pretty fast. This is the only time that we'll get down to Clemson this season. I was here like two weeks ago because we had our alumni game and so all of the like dance team alumni came for the weekend. We performed at the game and it was against FAU. I just came by myself with a bunch of my friends and Jake was still playing baseball so he was not able to come but now he's home so we're here together and it feels so good to be back here. I graduated in 2020. He didn't graduate. He didn't graduate because he got drafted after I'm his junior to year. In 2019. Yeah, so he's like a class above me. We're gonna go downtown, park, walk around a little bit. He's gonna get a Clemson polo shirt, collar shirt, or whatever. Cause... All of my Clemson stuff says Clemson baseball on it, and it's all kind of yeah. dated. And I just that's how mine is. All of my Clemson stuff is like dance team stuff. We obviously dance at every game, so I had never had like tailgating clothes or like game clothes. But anyways, we're gonna go downtown, get some dinner, walk around, and then I think we're gonna go see the homecoming floats too on Bowman. I think we're also gonna go to Tigerama, which is basically like an event. It's their pep rally. Yeah. It wasn't like a huge thing when I went here. I still don't think it's a huge thing. I think they're crazy. trying to like get more students involved and so Waka Flocka is performing at it tonight apparently. So I think we may go. And of course the rally cats perform and then they announce like homecoming queen and all that jazz. And I didn't know they did that. I literally, mm -hmm. my junior year, I went and saw you perform and as soon as y'all got off stage I left. <laughs> You told me what we time left too. I think after we performed, yeah. we all left. You told me what time you went on. I showed up five minutes before that, watched you perform, <laughs> and left. left. And then there's also a soccer game, and the soccer games here are pretty electric because they're pretty good. So we may stop there after Tigerama and go in there for a little bit. Clemson and then United, baby. We also might go to the baseball stadium. We were gonna try to see one of their scrimmages, but they started at one today. They started we here by then. super early. So, but we still may just like walk around and. See the old stomping grounds. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. For right now, we're starving, so we're gonna go eat. We're about to go get breakfast at Pot Belly Deli, which was like our favorite breakfast place when we went here. Let me tell you something right now. Take 
Nick's getting fired up, apparently. They don't put championship rings on smooth fingers. Smooth hands. Smooth hands. You gotta go earn it no, six seconds at a time. No, it's you win championships when the stadium is empty. They said that afterwards. Okay, okay. When the band ain't playing, when the cheerleaders ain't cheering, when it's just you and your brothers right beside yeah, you. Yeah, but you don't have that accent going. You gotta get that. I can't do that accent. You win championships <laughs> when it's just you and your brothers. I don't think he's like country <laughs> like that. <laughs> no, he's not. When it's just you, you. And your brother. Out on the farm. <laughs> Bailing hay. <laughs> Absolutely not. No? Anywho, we're about to go get some bagels at PBD. PBD. I just got these glasses from Revolve. They're like 30 bucks. Very cute. Traffic's not too bad yet. We're gonna get our bagels and then go back and get ready. Our bagels, and bagels. And then we have you to check out place? No. You don't Brugger's bagels? Beagles bagels. No, I don't remember Beagles Mississippi. Bagels. Remember when Nolan got the, oh, it was the called sausage Beagles egg and bagels. cheese right, with the strawberry right. cream cheese on it? That actually sounds, <laughs> no, that sounds so good. Dude, dude. Maybe not with it's like one cheese. one of the other. Well, like, have you have ever had a sausage biscuit from Bojangles or McDonald's and put jam on it? Like strawberry jelly? Jam and cream cheese are different. Yeah, no, you're right. Anyways, then we have to check out of our hotel at 12. Which is honestly perfect timing. And then we'll walk around to some tailgates, walk around downtown, maybe walk around campus a little bit, and then go into the game. The game starts at 3.30, but we also wanna see Tiger Walk and like the parade and stuff, because Jake hasn't seen the new Tiger Walk. They built this whole like. I've never witnessed a Tiger Walk in general. I've never witnessed one not as a dancer either, so. Oh my gosh, we're about to park in <laughs> woods. <laughs> Get There's Pot Belly right there. Alrighty, got our bagels. We're gonna have a little pile on the ground, is what it's looking like. Picnic. Watching college game day. What'd you get? You can play the picnic. I got the great hand beam. Why do they feel the same? This is yours. This is yours. <laughs> oh my god. I got a bacon, egg, and cheese. A, oh. a burr. <laughs> Let me see. Oh my. Oh. This is in bacon. Who has college game day? It's the uh, Oklahoma what's it called? Uh, something River Shootout, nice. Red River Shootout, or something crap. Mmm. This is schmacking. So good. <laughs> we also Missed the bear. We also got a grilled muffin. If you know, you know. I'll knock it till you try it. Just finished up breakfast. I'm about to start getting ready. I think I'm gonna do my makeup first. It's like an hour and a half before we have to leave. And one thing about me, I like to take my time when getting ready. I'm like a two hour minimum girly. Like I always give myself two hours and I take the full two hours. But we're gonna try to be quick because we wanna get to like tailgates and stuff. Still don't know what I'm wearing. I brought like five different types of pants, five different tops hoping that one of them will match the other. I do this every time. Like I'm always like, oh, I'm gonna be so good about picking up my outfits for like whatever I have going on. I never do, I always wait till the last minute. Me and Jake were like reminiscing in the car yesterday, driving and walking around campus. We were talking about my Clemson story and like how I applied for the school and everything. It's kind of a crazy story. So basically in high school, my senior year, I had like decided I wanted to go to Clemson. I had never been to the campus before. I had some family members come to school here but like they were like cousins it wasn't like my immediate family so both my parents went to USC my older sister went to USC upstate to run track and cross country For some reason I wanted to go to Clemson like I just felt this like pull to go to Clemson I don't know why and some of my friends were going or some of my friends were applying but like most of my friends were like set on going to USC when I say USC I mean University of South Carolina I was born and raised in Columbia South Carolina lived there pretty much my whole life so naturally I wanted to kind of get away so anyways it was literally the last day before admissions closed I had stood on a 
applied because the application fee was like, it was like $60 or something. I was in high school, like I didn't really have a job. I had a part-time job that like was minimum wage. Like I think I was literally making like $8 an hour. It was not much. And so I did not have $60 to my name at this point in time. And I needed to apply. I was like, I have to apply to Clemson. I have to go to Clemson. My parents were so against me going to Clemson. They hate Clemson. They're USC fans. And so they were not helping me with the application fee. Like I knew that. I couldn't even ask them. I think I did end up asking them and they were like, no, we're not helping you be a family trader. So I think I had like $48 in my bank account at that time. So I needed $12 to have hey, enough. This tells you how deep this rivalry runs. She couldn't get the application to the rival school paid for. Yeah, that's what I just told them. Like, I was like, my parents wouldn't even help me with the extra $12. It's $12. <laughs> so when needed. people talk about all these other rivalries being like a big deal, I don't think they understand the rivalry between South Carolina and Clemson. Yeah, like my dad was absolutely fit to be tied when he found out I wanted to go to Clemson. He was like, that's embarrassing. Like, <laughs> Anyways, I needed $12 to have enough for this application fee. The last day, it was like the end of the school day. I think it was like 3.30. I was like scrambling my head all day long. How am I going to get $12? I probably could have easily like asked a friend, like hindsight. Anyways, I go home and I'm like scrounging around my room, like trying to see if there's like money in a piggy bank somewhere. I find my coin map like my quarter collection under my bed I'm like oh my gosh this is like exactly 12 I think it's 1250 is what it comes out to with 50 quarters <laughs> what I did is so bad but I take out all of the quarters on the quarter map that my grandma collected and gave to me like probably 10 years prior race to the bank the bank was closing I think at like five or something so at this point I had like 40 minutes to get to the bank had this bag of quarters deposit the money go home submit the application pay the $60 and got in a few months later. I can't remember like when we found out, but the first time I ever went to campus was for Rally Cat dance team auditions. My dad reluctantly took me and I made the team and that was literally my first time on campus was like making the team, which is crazy. Cause like what if I would have hated it, but I knew I was gonna love it. So yeah, the rest is history. It's just funny cause like had that quarter collection not existed, I would not be sitting here today. Jake would not be my husband. I probably would have gone to USC. Hated my life. <laughs> I'm kidding. I just think that's a crazy story. And then Jake's mom for my birthday this year, I told her this story like probably a year ago and she thought it was the craziest story and she actually got me a new quarter collection for my birthday. <laughs> So I thought that was pretty cool. Anyways, I want to tell that story. I literally can't multitask, can't do my makeup while telling a story. So I'm going to get started on make my makeup and then we'll check in with y'all later when I'm picking y'all up. Okay, we are ready to go. Really don't like my outfit, but... I love your outfit. It's whatever. I mean, this little purple top. Why not? I just feel like weird. I also have not finished my makeup. I need to put mascara and eyeliner on. The yeah, cargo pants are from Abercrombie. And then Jordan's because there's gonna be a lot of walking today. I was gonna wear heeled boots, but too much walking for that. We're about to head out, kind of in a hurry. I'm like losing my voice already, this is not good. Stomping grounds. <laughs> that was the weight room we used to use for dance and baseball. We worked out at the same time. <laughs> I might go pull on the handle, see if anybody's in here. Uh -huh. And then above it is Derby Gym. That's where we practice for dance too. Is this nostalgic? guys a little bit later we just got in the car from the game we won what was the score 17 12 17 to 12 17 12 ugly ball game i literally just changed into my pajamas and the sweatshirt because it's freezing 
But we're heading back to Atlanta now. We're just in some traffic. We are getting home at 9.30ish. Mm -hmm. Once we stop for dinner and everything. We're watching the Braves playoff game. Today was fun. We did have a little debacle with our tickets. So I purchased our tickets through game time, which I don't know if that's like common no-no, but I've only heard good things about game time. When we were sitting down for lunch, I was like, oh, I need to download our tickets. I never got an email to download to down like to claim them so i'm like oh what the heck is up so we like connected with customer support and we were going back and forth with them basically they were no help they told us to go to the box office give them like my email order number seat whatever they were no help either they're like sorry you're they SOL. pretty much looked like idiots in front of them they were like uh, <laughs> yeah they were like we don't see you i'm like awesome great so we ended up just buying tickets through ticketmaster directly and they're only like what 100 bucks together yeah like and we originally paid like 250 through game time so we were we actually got a, a deal i don't know whose fault it was i don't know if this if it was the seller if it was game time but regardless bottom we didn't get line, our tickets and we're getting our money back. yeah bottom line one we're getting a refund two never using game time ever again but we got in that's all that matters we did miss kickoff which sucked but you know what whatever we had fun it was a great day we got the texans tomorrow 1 p.m game hope we play well it's our breast cancer game so we're in like pink tops and pink palms and everything so it'll be a fun game tomorrow will be a fun day i guess we'll see y'all tomorrow at 5 a.m you'll be sleeping actually you have to drive Taking me you to the game just kidding i'm gonna wake his butt up too morning it is 5 55 we're about to head to the field for game day we got these sweatshirts from kelsey from our first game like a little gift to our line so i'm wearing this to the field because it's kind of cold at least in our apartment i have all my stuff packed right here oh i need to get my bag this bag put these palms in her jake's taking me to the stadium King for that. I'm gonna get Starbucks and then head to the field. Secured the bag. The <laughs> 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 you look absolutely pissed off. It's too early for Jake. Happy game day! Woo! It's literally freezing. Brie was smart and brought her puffer. Uh, we are the DNF. Hello. Hey. Wait, Lindsay, your hair looks darker. It is. It is? These highlights. It looks good. I feel like I look so different than this. It's what I do now. <laughs> my hair is yellow. Oh, yeah, my hair is not like that either. I thought you like right now to take a picture of the video. Oh, yeah. Hi. My hands are really orange today. But whatever. Did you get sprayed? I did, and then I didn't feel tan enough, so I put on um, tanologist tanner, and I, I, look, I look so pale. Okay, do you wash your hands after? Yeah, I, I wash my hands. I take a wipe, like the baby wipes they have. Do you bring hair cream? All right, kind of I was chilling, I was relaxing, and I for breakfast. Got some grits, egg wipes. Quiche, oh, that's broken. Sausage, bacon, cheese, cheese, yum. Don't do that. About to head out for practice. I need to put lipstick on. Sweet, so hooked us up again with all this free stuff. Got brow gel. Oh, no, this is mascara. Clothes? Oh! Love it. This is the, I don't know why it's not focusing, but this is the eyebrow pencil. She said it hasn't been released yet. This is the brow gel and the mascara. So nice. Thanks, Sway. The traffic actually was over here. Okay, well, it's not focusing, but ready for practice. <laughs> Wait, Taylor, let me see that. <laughs> oh! These are for next week's game. 
Wait, this is so cute. Mine's like cut out shoulders. Oh, that's cute. You got a little leotard. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's adorable. Isn't it? I'm so excited. A little long sleeve moment and a little skirt. Oh my gosh, they used Velcro for their skirts back then. We just finished practice. It's so hot, I'm still sweating. But yeah, so we have our throwback game next Sunday. And so we all get like the throwback uniforms and they're all different because they're all from like different years. So I can't wait to see what everyone has. What do you have? Which one? Oh, y'all are matching. Nicole! Hey, oh, Does anyone have mine or is it just me? I love mine. Oh, so yeah. Wait, I actually really This skirt is literally Velcro. Oh my god, you look good in that though. Oh my gosh, and she has a little t-shirt. I love the 80s. Thanks, coaches. Okay, practice went well. We're all about to change into our robes and get ready. I have an appearance at, I think, 11.30. I'm doing the parade. So two hours to get ready. Four years later, all of a sudden, it just stopped working. Yeah. And that's what I was like, um, yeah. stopped working for, like, a couple. Okay, on this segment of getting ready, deep questions with Summer Nicole and Brief. <laughs> First question. I mean, you remember the one that we did when we did a Q&A? We should do that the next game. Wait, yeah, we should. Okay, first question. What's your biggest regret in life? Yeah. You what? Yeah, men. men. Okay, so Brie regrets some male choices. Hindsight is 2020. Yeah, absolutely. What's your most proudest moment in your life? Graduating college? Yeah, I feel like graduating college is like a good I haven't done a lot of great things. I was to figure it out, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. It was scary for a second. Probably when I finished my last college exam. I was like, oh wow, like I'm done with school forever. Okay, Brie, question? Hey, what's your biggest regret? <laughs> um, honestly, I wish I would've started a YouTube channel in college. I know. And like, had those memories to like look back on. Yeah. Yeah. I want to Like meeting Jake for the first time. Like, yeah, literally when I was in middle school. Like, so I met this guy. Yeah. He's so crazy. Literally, like, I wish I had this memory that I could just, like, watch back. You know? Yeah, I forget so much. Yes. Yeah. And I'm like, and I know I'm only going to forget more. Huh? I have a really good deep question, but it's also kind of like tying into the short. If you could tell your younger self any word of advice, what would it be? I would tell them. <laughs> you work literally. I don't know. That's too deep. That just because someone else is winning doesn't mean that you win. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, just got lunch. We have fried chicken, mac and cheese with like Ritz crackers. It's really good. Yeah, salad, dressing, and a blondie. There's like three different desserts. It was a blondie, a brownie, cookie, and a brownie. A redhead. Brunette. Hi, Loggy. You got nerd clusters? Everybody has to eat these nerd clusters. Which is the best. Get this is the red bag? Yeah. It's better than the blue bag. It's so Agreed. good. What were you saying, Brie? Your onions are so good. I don't know. Hey, would you like to say hey? Hey, vlog. <laughs> Locker buddies. I like don't want to finish this lunch. It just is like... No, it's good, but I, all I wanted was a cookie. <laughs> Ten minutes before I have to be out for my appearance. So I need your lipstick, earrings. I forgot my crystal earrings. I have to wear my red ones. Okay. Oh, that is cold. Oh, these are our pink tops. We got them last year for our crucial catch game honoring breast cancer. So years past we had like dresses and they were all in different colors representing like different cancers but now we are just honoring breast cancer. My Nana had breast cancer last year and she beat it. So dancing for her today. These tops make us look so tan. I love it. Seven minutes. I hope the roof is open. Finally found a good lip liner. NARS. This is the shade Mariachi. It's like a dark red. It's really nice. I'm so bad at doing my lips. 
I also learned with lip liner, you're not supposed to go like all around your lips. You're supposed to go like two thirds, like top and then bottom. Also, my lips always quiver when I do my lips. So it's never steady. It's like, don't, don't leave me. Ready to go. All right, back to my appearance. Great, we did a little parade parade. Now we're back. We have like 30 minutes. We have to huddle up. Makeup looks actually pretty good today. I'm not gonna start six corners. Are you drinking? Hey, I'm drinking a bang. Delicious strawberry kiss. Ooh, is it good? Can I go for it? I have to have a bang before every single football game. Do you not else. like Celsius? I do like Celsius, but I've been drinking bang before every game since college. So it's like a little superstition. Yeah, yeah. superstition. Your routine. Wait, that's really good. Um, yeah, no, it's delicious. Um, <laughs> strawberry kiss. <laughs> Love it. Apparently, Roscoe Dash is performing this game, so that'll be fun. The only song I know by him is No Hands. Do you know what else he sings? Roscoe Dash? No, it's both of them. Yeah. Mr. Shorty put it on please. I'd be going in. I don't know any other Roscoe Dash. Let me, let me forget the name of this. Oh, all the way turned up. Okay, that's the only other one I know. <laughs> we're being so fake. We're already completely ready, but we're gonna put our robes back on. As if we're still getting ready. Should I like laugh at you? Stupid. We can't score a touchdown, that's why. The score is 9 to 7. It's pretty good. That's why we're going to get it. Okay. We're switching into our hip hop shoes. So we're doing a little hip hop routine, stomping grinds. Our first performance went well. We performed with the dance line at Spellman College. So that was fun. We did a little Beyonce dance with them. It went well. The temperature in the stadium is amazing. The roof is open, so there's like a, a nice breeze going through. Mercedes Benz brownies are top tier. They're always good. Yeah. You know, I should start cleaning up too. That's a smart idea. Yeah. Woo! We freaking won. What was the ending final score? 18-15? No, that wasn't the score. <laughs> His final score was 21-19. We almost lost for a minute there. Literally the last two seconds of the game, Ku kicked a field goal. We beat the Texans. It was such a fun game. What a day. We're back. I'm exhausted. Literally back in, back in the car. We're going to pick up Jax. Woofer. The woofer. I'm going to pick up the woofer. I'm so excited. He's such a good boy. But anyways, it was a great game, great day, great win. Did you have fun? I did have a lot of fun. We're gonna go pick up Jax, get some dinner. It's five now, and then I have work tomorrow. Jake has workouts, <laughs> which is work. It's his work. Yeah. Unpaid work, but work nonetheless. True. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you in our next vlog. Peace. Bye.